Hey everyone, Josh here, and today I'm gonna to share with you a not so well-known hack that could really help first-time home buyers get access to the home buyer's plan without even having access to an RRSP in the first place. Essentially, it is a strategy that allows you to convert a bank loan in an RRSP and then use the associated tax refund as a down payment for the purchase of your first property. Now, the thing that ties it all together is the home buyer's plan. It might sound complicated right now, but it's actually rather simple. So let me break it down for you. First, you might be asking, what is the home buyer's plan? And to answer you in detail, check out my latest video where I explain it all. But to give you a brief summary, the home buyer's plan, known as HBP, is a government program that allows first time home buyers to withdraw up to $35,000 tax free from your reg registered retirement savings plan, your RRSP, and use it towards the down payment of your first property. Like many first time home buyers, you might not already have an RRSP or you might not ha already have $35,000 saved in your RRSP. In that case, here's what you can still do to take full advantage of the home buyer's plan, even without any money in your RRSP. First, you'll need to borrow a sum from your bank and deposit it into your RRSP account. Considering you don't already have any money in your RRSPs, $35,000 is a good sum since it is the maximum amount that the government allows you to withdraw from your RRSP to put towards the home buyer's plan. If you are a couple, you can withdraw $35,000 each or combined $70,000. In this example, let's assume there's only one buyer. With the contribution to your RRSP from the bank loaned money, you will be able to reduce your taxable income by up to $35,000 for the year. Meaning that if you made 80,000 throughout the year, only $45,000 would be taxable. A very important step to remember is that in order to comply with the home buyer plan rules, you will need to leave the deposited amount in your RRSP for at least 90 days. You can then withdraw the amount from your RRSP tax free in the name of the home buyer's plan by showing proof of an accepted offer. This $35,000 withdrawn thanks to the home buyer's plan will be, then be used to refund the $35,000 bank loan. Here's where it all gets interesting. It is in fact the tax refund given by the $35,000 deposited in your RRSP that will become your down payment to purchase a property. In this particular case, you could expect a refund of about $14,000 which is the taxable amount that was avoided on the reduction of the $35,000 and an approximate tax rate of 40%. For couples, this amount would be double. One thing to note is that the time frame to refund your RRSP for the sums withdrawn during the home buyer's plan is set to 15 years. It means that you need to annually refund 1 15th of the sum you have withdrawn from your RRSP starting from the year following the withdrawal. So you can think of it almost as a forced savings plan for the future. As you can see, this strategy can be particularly useful to all buyers who don't already have an RRSP, but still need a down payment in order to purchase a property. So quickly to bring it all together and to summarize, the first step you need to do is to borrow, borrow a loan from your bank for an amount corresponding to your needs, maximum $35,000, while respecting the maximal contribution limit allowed by your RRSP. In step two, you're gonna to wanna to deposit the sum in your RRSP for at least 90 days. Step three consists of withdrawing the tax-free amount from your RRSP and refunding your bank loan with it. In step four, you can use the tax refund as a down payment to purchase a property. And finally, in step five, you refund your RRSP over 15 years, which is the maximum allowed time frame. I hope you're able to make use of this with your next purchase and hopefully you were able to learn something new in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.